Greetings everyone, it's how to time with your LPP. In the box is the LPP, braided hoses, a drain assist, and a funnel. To finish the installation, you will need distilled water to fill the liquid cooler. Pure water is a poor conductor of electricity, whereas tap water contains charged ions and impurities that make it a very good conductor of electricity. Tap water can also cause corrosion and premature failure to your hardware. We'll go over filling the LPP with liquid later in the video. Okay, let's begin. Gently remove the black hex caps on the LPP. All LPPs are tested before shipping, so there may be some water remnants. Connect the braided hoses to the LPP. Hand tighten until you begin to feel resistance is all that's necessary. Tools should not and do not need to be used on the LPP ever. Next, open the rubber flap at the back of your laptop and connect the braided hoses with its metal proprietary connection. You'll get a nice click. The hoses should not be tangled or twisted. Next, connect the laptop's power supply to the back of the LPP and then the LPP into your laptop. Please do not turn on the liquid cooler just yet. We have to fill it first. Open the fill port on the top of the LPP. There will be two holes. The larger hole is for filling, the smaller is for ventilation. Use the included funnel and slowly begin filling with distilled water. Distilled water purchased in a large container should be transferred into something that can pour liquid into the funnel without spilling. There's a water line in front of the unit, so you can use it to monitor the water intake. Otherwise, it's about 200 milliliters for the initial fill and a bit more after injection. Next, power on your laptop and LPP. Expect the LPP to be a little noisy, especially during the water injection process. Open the Electronics Control Center software, click Performance, and then Liquid Propulsion Package. Here's an illustrated guide to toggle through when you need it. Click Connect. The LPP connects to your laptop via Bluetooth. Should your laptop fail to recognize the LPP during the initial setup, you can manually pair it within the laptop's Bluetooth settings. Then click Connect. Now my test sample here had more than one LPP connected during testing, so the extra step to connect manually may not be necessary. Once connected, click Liquid Injection Mode. During this process, the LPP is working to remove bubbles from the system. In my experience, one to three injections were necessary before achieving normal operating acoustics. It's also normal for the system to auto-inject when it reconnects after waking from sleep. Regardless, during the initial setup, expect your LPP to be a little noisier until the remaining air bubbles have been removed. During the injection process, the water level will need to be brought back up, so fill to the line on the window. I know this is obvious, but keep an eye for initial leaks. Tighten when necessary and wipe up any spillage during the process. Don't stress, you'll get better at this during ownership. The LPP system is audible and has three fan settings. All three deliver great thermal performance, so use whichever one you like best. At this point, enjoy the thermal performance combined with acoustic bliss as the LPP provides something new to laptop life. When mobility calls, click disconnect. Turn off your LPP. Squeeze the proprietary hose connection at the back of your laptop. Install the included drain assist onto the water jackets in your laptop and drain the remaining fluid. The opposite end of this, inserted into the proprietary LPP connection, will drain the LPP of its fluid. Otherwise, you can leave the LPP filled with water and disconnected from the laptop without leaking. When you're ready to use the LPP again, plug it in, turn it on, and go. Stay tuned as we produce additional content associated with the liquid propulsion package and laptop so fast, you'll want to go home and slap your mama.